image selection on the G1218, if you look at the gray ones, which are mostly your utility stitches and the stitches you can use around the home, you choose which stitch you'd like to use. For instance, if I was going to do the zigzag, it's C. And then I'm going to turn my stitch selector dial to C. And you can refer to your manual and it'll suggest the stitch width, which is up here, and the stitch length for the stitch that you're doing. These red ones on the side are called stretch stitches and you'll notice that they have the exact same letter as the one before it. So to actually stitch out, if I wanted to stitch out this rickrack, I have to use my stitch length dial and I turn it all the way to the SS for stretch stitch. So now actually if I was to stitch this out, I would be stitching the rickrack stitches. I have stitched out the gray stitches on this machine and I highly recommend anyone to do this. When I, first purchased I stitched out these stitches, which are the ones in the gray, varying my stitch width and my stitch length. You can see the difference. So this is all zigzag, but by adjusting the stitch width and the stitch length, you get extremely different results. Another one that's very obvious is this blind hem. And then also this joining stitch, you can see how big and wide the stitches are and then it moves down into shorter ones. And honestly, the best way to learn what your machine does in terms of adjusting the stitch width and the stitch length is to just play with it and stitch these stitches out and you'll really get to know what your machine's capable of doing. And if it helps, you can even just jot down beside your stitches what your settings were at so that you can use this as a reference and refer back uh, so that you can do that exact same stitch again.